So, uh, welcome again those who are, uh, well, resilient enough to learn all these hard stuff that people learn for years in artillery schools and academies. Uh, this video is the next part of our learning series of how to orient and how to shoot with a D38 Russian made gun. This is the most important one. All what we have just learned comes to this point because if you master this skill, uh, you, you, you just you are just fine. You just pretty much know uh, the majority of the st stuff you should know if you are dealing with some cold 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 war or old style uh, artillery stuff. Uh, in this video, we are going to learn how to align our gun, how to orient our gun uh, using the PAB2M aiming circle. Uh, without maps, without anything, you all just you need is just the azimuth. So what we need again, it, we need our old trusty D38 gun, your undivided attention, and you, obviously we need a PAB2M. We just pick it up with enter and find a suitable spot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, where you put your uh, PAB2M, it's, well, you see, the, you, you're always measuring to the side. This is the side. This is the side unit of this gun, and you're always measuring to this. So it's, it's, there's no point of putting the, P, the, the aiming circle on the desired, well, if it, your desired shooting direction is, is, let's say now it is about like north, north something. If, if, if it is there, you are, you're, you're not putting it on the, right side because on the left side you have the uh what is it the uh the periscope the aiming device you see and you want to measure this so you want to put your aiming circle on the left side somewhere back the further you put probably it is the better but you don't really have to go that far you know, well, this should make it what do you do now? CTR window key and you go to the equipment and you set up the aiming circle pay B2M. There you go. You get into it with enter and with plus and minus key. With the other mouse key you get into the aiming circle and with the plus and minus key to different modes of it. That is the compass, aligning the compass, that is the aligning the scales, and then one other minus and you are in the scale. But no, we don't need the scale. What we need is the show height level indicator. What we need is the, is the, what is it, the, um, this, you know, this, um, this bubble which uh, makes things uh, horizontal. How do you do it, make it horizontal? You show it. Uh, you see, we are in the Salt Lake, so it's totally horizontal it's totally leveled you see this uh, little little green stuff it shows however if it's not level with the VASD you can level if you are not on an even ground but now we are at even ground just to make things simple now we hide this indicator and we set up our aiming circle how we get into the sight unit if you are in the aiming circle we get into the sight unit with the plus and minus key we get into the compass and we are st we, 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 we find the north well he you have to be careful yeah because you have to align very precisely because all your measurements depends on this later so with the arrow keys left and right you just set the aiming circle up it's somewhere here yeah that should just do fine and uh, we just set up your aiming circle and uh, you zero it. How do you zero it? With the mouse left, left and right, you just find a zero point. You just find a zero point. You have two scales. You see the black scale, the upper scale, and the lower scale, the red scale. The black scale is the azimuth where you are looking at uh, relative to the north. You see, you, you, you put it to the zero. You have the small scale, but we already discussed on the right top side. And you put that's exactly now that's exactly our uh, aiming circle is aligned to the north to zero Russian mills degree if you look into it that's what the total zero point that's what you see on the north and what you see on the on the uh, 
on the bottom side it is the red scale which is the angle measuring device and I'll, I'll let me show you it, it, it is from the top what you see you see there is a gun you put your aiming circle on the left a little bit behind something like 50 meters or so and now we we with the side it is where the side sees we set our aiming device to the north and we zeroed both our scale you see that's what we have at this point and what is our let's say we have a, 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 a theoretical uh, fire mission which requires us to set our gun to the Russian nails 50 to 31 how do you do that well the first thing it is that now you zeroed your uh, uh, zeroed your uh, uh, aiming circle you have to find the on the aiming circle the 5231 azimuth how do you do that you just simply rotate which is 58 now 56 now 52 and what is it it's 5231 so you you, you get the the, uh, the thousands and 152 and on the right with this little red uh, rotating thing is the 52 and if you rotate it it's 5210 you see it's 5220 it should be 5230 what 5231 so it's 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 a little too uh, get one there I just I just messed it up because I, I it is very difficult the mouse is is very responsive to that the more accurate you get you have to be very uh, good that's exactly what you do now you have the 5231 so you are you your aiming circle looks at the 5231 uh, what you have to do next that's what you have now you see this is the site of my uh, aiming circle the red scale but the red scale which show the red scale shows 70 70 70 7701 yeah that's exactly 769 that's what our red scale is so like you see it's one digit 0769 it is on the left on the red scale it's not the black scale it's the red scale on the red scale we have uh, 0769 that's what that's exactly what we have on this picture we have 0769 showing on the red scale here you see and we have 5231 showing on the azimuth scale because it is just an angle measuring device you see wonderful so that's what you will uh, that's exactly what we reproduce here our uglamer the angle measuring device is showing uh, what it is showing seven you see the six seven and here you see 60 from the top one two three five six seven eight nine so it's seven zero seven sixty nine because it's one digit don't forget double digits this for somehow they don't put zero but it's uh, don't let it uh, 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 mess you up because it is zero seven sixty nine and our boussole because our boussole is set in uh, 5231 you see 52 and a little bit it uh, the little part the the uh, tens and the one units are shown here and it is here like the zero sum must be down there and 10 20 30 31 that's exactly what you have wonderful so what we are going to have to do it is to zero our red scale how do we zero our red scale with, with uh, y and with z and x with z and x you just put until you zero your red scale you rotate you rotate with the shift simultaneously pushing the shift and the x you can rotate back to zero that's important to be very precise you see i rotate until it gets to zero now what i did what i did is shown on this part you see I rotated this red scale uh, counterclockwise until you see this this way counterclockwise until my angle measuring device is my, the zero of my angle de measuring device is aligned with the azimuth of the aiming circle which is 5231 that's the next step uh, at the end you will you will figure out everything that's uh, if you practice it and if you understand it it's going to be very simple you have to be a little bit just uh, good in mathematics and uh, uh, geometry anyway so that's what we see now we zeroed our angle measuring device and we left our boussole or our aiming circle to the desired uh, azimuth 
So now our uglomer, our uh, angle measuring device at zero, looking at 52.31. Why do you need that? Because you want to measure a very important angle, and that this very important angle is 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 under what angle you see Russian mills, you see your gun from zero. You know, you have, we we want to know this angle, this angle. We want to know this angle. How we find out this angle? It is easy. We get into our uh, sight unit and we start to rotate with the mouse. Well, you can get out with the with the other with the right mouse button and you can rotate until you see the gun. You see, I just peeked in where I see the gun. Now I see the gun and I align my aiming circle exactly to the middle to the middle of the periscope of the optics that's not not easy because it's so responsive but I have a gaming mouse but it's so responsive that's wonderful with the minus or plus K you get out and what you need to uh, and now what you need to uh, to read is is the angle uh, it is the angle where you see how it is the angle what you see through the uh, it is basically the relative angle it is in in our case because it's not it cannot really reproduce it's not 4266 but you see it's uh, 54 54 and a little bit like uh, 1, 2, 3, 54, 3 and a half, 54, 54, 04. So we see the ground aiming circle is 54, 04. You have to take a note of that, 54, 04. Why is it important? Uh, let me show you. Because this is the angle that we just found out. It's not 42, 66, it's 54, 04. What you want to do now is that's what we did we measured the angle this angle we measured this angle how we turned our uh, aiming device onto the uh, side of the gun you see and we take make we uh, read the exact angle obviously exact angle what we are looking for and it is here it in this case is 4266 but in our case it is 5404 what we just did now this angle now what we have to do we want to reproduce this angle here you see the counter angle or the the opposite angle that is called in ge geometry it is called opposite angle and we want to reproduce this angle with the barrel of the gun and uh, this part so we want to barrel of the gun come here that it will be parallel to this so how we produce this angle? It is it is easy because your your uh, optics in the gun looks backwards and it shows zero. And if we set, you see, it shows zero. If we set our optics of our gun to the exact angle, in this case 4266, we will see into the direction. And if we align this direction with the uh, aiming circle, we will reproduce this angle this angle here here you see here and it will make our gun parallel anyway let's let me show you how to do it so our angle is not 50 it's four is it's, it's uh, 50 54 04 let's now we get out of the boussole or the aiming circle get into the gun get into the gun get into the side with the with the uh, key S, you bring up the um, uh, the periscope, and you set your periscope. How you set your periscope? You are not rotating the gun. You should be rotating the periscope to what uh, uh, angle? 54.04. How do you rotate that with uh, Z and X? 54.04. It doesn't matter which direction you. It's, I, I I did not start it well. I should have started the opposite direction anyway. Because it's how it increases increases. 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 51, 2, 3, and 50. What was it? 
5404 5411 go back 5404 now what we did what we did is seen here we rotated our periscope to this to this view you see that's not 46 six, it, it is to, to our angle our this angle I, re, I re, recreated this angle here uh, from the back side of the, of the of the barrel to the desired location and what is it what I have to do next that's what I did I set up my uglomer or the aiming circle in the gun or the optics to the desired uh, angle and now I have to rotate my uh, aiming circle to the desired to the to the to, to my optics to my uh, aiming circle that's how you do it I now rotated my uh, aiming circle my periscope to my aiming circle so what I have now what I have now is I'm looking at the aiming circle you see uh, from the from the desired angle from the barrel and now I'm looking at the aiming circle looking at the gun you see and now in theoretically my the barrel of my gun should be in parallel with the azimuth I originally set up but it's not that easy so everything is not that easy because you have the parallax error because the barrel is uh, you, you just rotated the uh, you just rotated uh, the gun mul multiple times and you see if you rotate the gun your aiming circle is a little bit a uh, little bit uh, left and that way if you rotate it your angles will just be messed up so in order to get that right you have to go back to the boussole what is it where is my boussole what is it what should be here that's where the tank ah it's over there you get to the boussole and align and compensate for the parallax error you get into the boussole you get into the view with the plus and minus you see just a little bit, little bit left it got a little bit right you again align it with the right again exactly good you make another reading of the angle that is 54 exactly 5402 5402 I get out and I just have to repeat it. I set my uh, my periscope to 5402 because uh, because of the parallax error I did two mils uh, side mistake. So I I get into the uh, it's 5404. I have to decrease it to 5402 uh, with the y and x and with the arrows I rotate my entire gun onto the boussole. Here you go. Now my boussole sits on 5402 and I see the boussole or the aiming circle 5402. So theoretically my, the, the barrel of my gun should be pointed at the original desired direction 5231. That I know sounds complicated and it is complicated but uh, uh, the more you practice it and the more you, 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 you do it the better you get at it and, and you will you will you will you will be good at it because it's not difficult it is just uh, you have to take into account all the rotation and counter rotation and where to zero and all those stuff but uh, this is the this is the, 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 the method how they how uh, artillerymen align their guns uh, in most of the cases so you have to master it it is it is it is what artillery officers do measure and measure and measure okay so have a wonderful day and uh, don't be uh, discouraged. This is probably the, 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 the most difficult part we have to deal with. And if you master this, you will be a fine artillery officer. Have a good day.